Well, welcome back. We are back with the former Boston Police Commissioner Ed Davis. And Ed, we want to chat about this new film, Patriots Day, a movie about the Boston Marathon bombing. It's out today in limited release in Boston, New York, and L.A. Ahead of that national release on January 13th, uh, John Goodman portrays Commissioner Davis in the movie. Here's a look. We've got to decide who's running this, and we have to decide quickly. If it's terrorism, it's yours, sir. Gentlemen, the moment we label this terrorism, everything changes. It's not about Boston anymore. It's not a local investigation. It's Wolf Blitzer, it's stock markets, it's politicians. Knee-jerk reactions, anti-Muslim backlash. And what if we're wrong? I mean, there's no take back. I've been through this before. If we don't call what we already know it is, and a cell is activated, and they hit Chicago, or New York, or Washington, what happens then? The accusations are going to come no matter what we do. Commissioner Davis, what do you think of the film? Uh, is it real? And, and was that one of the issues? Look, if you name it terrorism right out of the gate, uh, maybe it, it's a different group that's going to be handling it. It becomes a different investigation with a different group. Did that really happen? Uh, yes, it did. The, uh, the film is very accurate uh, and packs an mm -hmm. enormous amount of detail of behind the scenes, uh, you know, sort of agreements and disagreements. There, there's. There's a lot of moving parts to an investigation like this, and uh, people are passionate about the way it's pursued. And I think that this does a good job of, of laying that out and, and also portraying the victims very well. Uh, Commissioner, real quick, um, what was your intuition that day when you saw what was happening? If you can tell us, sir, uh, obviously you have to rely on intelligence and, and, and facts, but as a seasoned law enforcement leader, what was the first thing that crossed your mind when that happened? As soon as I heard that there were multiple amputations, uh, I thought that this may be a low-placed uh, IED, something that uh, was anti-personnel in nature. Um, when I got to the scene and stepped out of the vehicle, I could feel the shrapnel under my feet. And as soon as I s felt that and saw that the explosions were very powerful and very coordinated within uh, 50 uh, yards of each other, um, I, I, I came to the conclusion that it was, in fact, terrorism. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, Commissioner, it's Mike Murphy again. Just, uh, I've been fortunate enough to play, uh, get to know Mark Wahlberg and play golf with him over the years a few times. And I know it was very important to him to do the city of Boston proud, to make this realistic and not make it uh, all about a Hollywood film, but really portray this accurately. Uh, do, have you seen it? Do you, do you think he's come through with that? They promised me that they'd do that, and I believe that they lived up to their promise. There was a unique team of Mark Wahlberg who's a tremendous actor and a, uh, a local guy who understands Boston really well. Um, we had uh, Peter Berg, who tells a human story extremely well, probably better than anybody else. And then uh, Michael Radutsky, who is a correspondent with, uh, I mean, a producer with 60 Minutes, and a, a real hard-nosed journalist. And between those three, it was a unique team that really told the story, I think, appropriately, better than anything I've seen on television, I mean, uh, in the movies uh, depicting real life. Commissioner, thanks for your leadership. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, Maria. Always a pleasure. Have a good day. We'll see you soon. Commissioner Ed Davis joining us there. Well